Emily woke up to the soft light peeking through her curtains. A mix of excitement and nervousness bubbling inside her. Today was the first day of high school. A new chapter in her life. She stretched her arms and rubbed her eyes, trying to shake off the last remnants of sleep. As she got ready, she couldn't help but feel a flutter of butterflies in her stomach. High school seemed so different from middle school, with its bigger buildings, more students, and endless hallways. But Emily was determined to make the most of it. She slipped on her favorite jeans and a cozy sweater, taking one last glance in the mirror before grabbing her backpack. Downstairs, the smell of breakfast greeted her, and her mom smiled warmly as she handed Emily a plate of pancakes. Nervous? Her mom asked. Placing a comforting hand on her shoulder, Emily nodded, her stomach doing somersaults. With a deep breath, Emily gathered her things and headed out the door. The sun was just beginning to rise, casting a golden glow over the neighborhood. Walking to the bus stop, she couldn't help but notice the air of anticipation among her neighbors, all heading off to their own first days of school. As the bus pulled up, Emily's heart raced. She found a seat near the front clutching her backpack tightly. The bus ride seemed to pass in a blur of chatter and laughter from her classmates. But Emily stayed quiet, lost in her thoughts. Finally, they arrived at the school. A sprawling campus buzzing with activity, Emily took a deep breath, stealing herself for what lay ahead. This was it her chance for new beginnings, new friends, and new adventures. With a determined smile, she stepped off the bus and into the next chapter of her life. As Emily stepped into the halls of her new high school, she noticed something different from middle school. Everywhere she looked, students seemed to gather in groups laughing and chatting. These groups were called cliques. There were the jocks, who were into sports and always seemed to be wearing their team jerseys. Then there were the popular girls, who walked with confidence and had a certain way of doing their hair and makeup. Emily also spotted the bookworms who carried stacks of books and discussed their latest reads with passion. Feeling a bit overwhelmed, Emily wondered where she fit in. She didn't play sports like the jocks, wasn't interested in makeup like the popular girls. And while she loved to read, she wasn't sure if she belonged with the bookworms. As she wandered the halls during lunchtime, Emily hesitated before approaching any group. She didn't want to feel left out or rejected. But then she noticed a few other students who seemed to be on their own, just like her. Taking a deep breath, Emily mustered up her courage and approached one of them a girl sitting alone by the window, reading a book. Hi, can I sit here? Emily asked with a friendly smile. The girl looked up, surprised but pleased. Sure, why not? She replied. As they chatted over lunch, Emily realized that she didn't need to fit into a specific clique to find her place in high school. Instead, she could make friends with people who shared her interests and values, regardless of what group they belonged to. From that day on, 
Emily navigated the halls of her high school with confidence, knowing that true friendship wasn't about fitting in with a clique, but about finding people who accepted her for who she was. And as she made new friends from all walks of life, she discovered that diversity and individuality were what made her high school experience truly special. After settling into her new high school routine, Emily realized that she had more free time to explore different activities outside of her classes. She knew she wanted to find something she was passionate about, something that would make her days more exciting and fulfilling. One afternoon, Emily decided to attend the school's club fair, where various clubs and extracurricular activities were showcased. As she wandered around the crowded gymnasium, she saw tables adorned with colorful posters and enthusiastic students eager to recruit new members. Emily's eyes lit up when she stumbled upon the art club's table. She had always enjoyed doodling and painting in her spare time, but she had never considered joining a club dedicated to art. Curious, Emily approached the table and struck up a conversation with the club president, who showed her some of the amazing artwork created by club members. Emily felt a surge of excitement as she imagined herself contributing her own creations to the club's portfolio. With a newfound sense of determination, Emily signed up for the art club and eagerly attended her first meeting. Surrounded by other aspiring artists, she felt inspired to unleash her creativity and explore new techniques and mediums. As weeks passed, Emily discovered a deep passion for art that she never knew existed. She found joy in experimenting with different colors and textures, losing herself in the process of bringing her imagination to life on canvas. Through the art club, Emily not only discovered her passion for creating art, but also formed lasting friendships with fellow artists who shared her love for self-expression. Together, they encouraged and supported each other's artistic endeavors, creating a vibrant and welcoming community within the school. With each brush stroke and sketch, Emily found herself growing more confident and self-assured. She had found her passion, and it filled her days with purpose and fulfillment, reminding her that sometimes the most meaningful discoveries come from following your heart and embracing new opportunities. One day, as Emily was working on a painting in the art club, she received some disappointing news. She had been eagerly anticipating the school's annual art competition, where students could showcase their artwork and potentially win prizes. But when she checked the list of participants, she realized that her name was not on it. Feeling confused and disheartened, Emily approached the teacher in charge of the competition to inquire about the omission. The teacher explained that there had been a mistake and that the deadline for entering the competition had already passed. Emily's heart sank as she realized that she had missed her chance to participate. She had poured her heart and soul into her artwork and the thought of not being able to share it with others was devastating. At first, Emily felt like giving up. She wondered if her artwork was even worth pursuing if she couldn't showcase it in the competition. 
But then she remembered the joy and fulfillment that art had brought her, and she knew she couldn't let this setback define her passion. With renewed determination, Emily decided to channel her disappointment into motivation. She continued to create art, pouring her emotions onto the canvas with each brush stroke. She reminded herself that art wasn't about winning competitions or receiving recognition. It was about expressing herself and sharing her creativity with the world. As weeks passed, Emily's resilience paid off. She received an unexpected opportunity to display her artwork at a local community art gallery, where it received praise and admiration from visitors. Though it wasn't the school competition she had hoped for, it was a reminder that setbacks could lead to new opportunities and unexpected successes. Through facing adversity, Emily learned the importance of perseverance and resilience. She realized that challenges were simply part of the journey toward achieving her dreams, and that with determination and courage, she could overcome any obstacle that came her way. And as she continued to pursue her passion for art, she knew that she was capable of turning setbacks into stepping stones toward her goals. Emily's high school journey was filled with new experiences and exciting opportunities, but it also brought its fair share of challenges. One of the toughest challenges she faced was when her friends, hip with her best friend, Lily, was put to the test. It all started when Emily and Lily joined different clubs at school while Emily immersed herself in the art club. Lily became passionate about the environmental club. At first, they tried to support each other's interests, attending meetings and events together whenever they could. But as time went on, Emily and Lily found themselves spending less and less time together. Their busy schedules made it difficult to coordinate, and soon they were drifting apart. Emily missed the days when they would spend hours talking and laughing together, and she couldn't help but feel a pang of sadness every time she saw Lily chatting with her new club friends, feeling hurt and confused. Emily confronted Lily about their drifting friendship. Lily assured her that she still valued their friendship, but explained that she had found a sense of belonging in the environmental club and wanted to explore her passion for environmental activism. At first, Emily struggled to understand Lily's perspective. She felt jealous and resentful of Lily's new friends, fearing that she was being replaced. But deep down, she knew that true friendship meant supporting each other's growth and happiness, even if it meant spending less time together. With time, Emily and Lily learned to navigate their evolving friendship. They made an effort to communicate openly and honestly, sharing their feelings and concerns with each other. They realized that their friendship was strong enough to withstand challenges and changes, and that they would always be there for each other no matter what. Through their friendship being tested, Emily and Lily discovered the true meaning of loyalty and understanding. They learned that friendships, like any relationship, required effort and compromise, but that the bond they shared was worth fighting for. And as they continued to support each other, 
through life's ups and downs. They knew that their friendship would only grow stronger with each passing day. As Emily continued her journey through high school, she discovered something incredible, the power of self-expression. Through her involvement in the art club, she found a way to express her thoughts, emotions, and unique perspective on the world. Every day after school, Emily would eagerly head to the art room where she felt a sense of freedom and creativity. With a blank canvas in front of her and a palette of vibrant colors at her disposal, she could let her imagination run wild. Every day after school, Emily would eagerly head to the art. Through her artwork, Emily found a voice that was uniquely hers. She painted scenes from her everyday life, capturing moments of joy, sadness, and everything in between. She experimented with different styles and techniques, discovering new ways to convey her feelings through her art. One day, Emily decided to create a series of paintings inspired by her experiences in high school. She painted portraits of her friends, capturing their personalities and quirks with each brush stroke. She painted scenes from the school hallways, filled with laughter and chatter, and she painted landscapes that reflected the ups and downs of teenage life, from the excitement of new beginnings to the challenges of facing adversity. As Emily shared her artwork with others, she was amazed by the impact it had on them. Her paintings sparked conversations and connections, allowing others to see the world through her eyes. People admired her creativity and talent, and Emily felt a sense of pride knowing that her art had touched the hearts of others. But more than anything, Emily discovered that self-expression was about more than just creating pretty pictures. It was about sharing a piece of herself with the world. Through her art, she could communicate her thoughts and feelings in a way that words alone could not express. And in doing so... She found a sense of fulfillment and purpose that she had never experienced before. Through the power of self-expression, Emily learned to embrace her uniqueness and celebrate her individuality. She realized that her voice mattered and that her art had the power to make a difference in the world. And as she continued to create and share her artwork, she knew that she was making her mark on the world in her own colorful and beautiful way. As Emily approached the end of her high school journey, she took some time to reflect on the lessons she had learned along the way. Throughout her years in high school, she had experienced many ups and downs faced challenges, and made countless memories. But through it all, she had gained valuable insights that would stay with her for a lifetime. One of the most important lessons Emily learned was the importance of being true to herself. She realized that trying to fit in with others or pretending to be someone she wasn't only left her feeling unhappy and unfulfilled. Instead, she learned to embrace her uniqueness and celebrate her individuality, knowing that she was worthy just as she was. Emily also learned the importance of perseverance and resilience. She faced setbacks and obstacles along her high school journey, but she refused to give up. Instead, she found the strength to keep going 
even when things got tough. And through her determination and courage, she discovered that she was capable of achieving anything she set her mind to. Another lesson Emily learned was the power of friendship and community. She realized that she didn't have to go through life alone. She had friends who were there for her, through thick and thin. Whether she needed a shoulder to cry on or someone to share her triumphs with, she knew she could always count on her friends to be there for her. But perhaps the most important lesson Emily learned was the value of kindness and compassion. She saw firsthand how a simple act of kindness could brighten someone's day and make the world a better place. And she made a commitment to spread love and positivity wherever she went knowing that even the smallest gesture could make a big difference. As Emily's high school journey came to an end, she found herself standing on the threshold of a new and exciting chapter, the future. Graduation day was fast approaching, and with it came a mix of emotions, excitement, anticipation, and a hint of nervousness. Emily couldn't help but feel a sense of pride as she looked back on all that she had accomplished during her time in high school. From finding her passion for art to making lifelong friendships, she had grown and learned more than she ever thought possible. But as she prepared to leave high school behind and embark on the next phase of her life, Emily couldn't help but wonder what the future held in store for her. Would she pursue her passion for art and become a professional artist? Or would she explore other interests and career paths along the way? Despite the uncertainty that lay ahead, Emily felt a sense of excitement for the possibilities that awaited her. She knew that the future was full of endless opportunities and adventures just waiting to be discovered. And she was determined to embrace whatever came her way with an open heart and a positive attitude. As graduation day arrived, Emily stood among her classmates, dressed in her cap and gown, ready to receive her diploma. Surrounded by friends and family, she felt a surge of gratitude for the love and support that had carried her through her high school journey. As she walked across the stage to accept her diploma, Emily felt a sense of pride and accomplishment wash over her. She knew that this was only the beginning of her journey and that the best was yet to come. With a smile on her face and excitement in her heart, Emily looked toward the future with optimism and determination. Whatever challenges and adventures lay ahead, she was ready to face them head on, knowing that she had the courage, strength, and resilience to overcome anything that came her way. As she threw her graduation cap into the air and celebrated with her classmates, Emily knew that the future was bright and full of promise. And with a sense of excitement and anticipation, she stepped boldly into the next chapter of her life, ready to embrace whatever the future held with open arms.